What's up guys, it's Snow here, and today we're exploring these abandoned houses down here. I'm not sure if all of them are open, but hopefully at least this one and the end one are. The middle one, it doesn't look as interesting, but all three would be cool, but I'd be happy just to get one. Uh, they all look really cool. They're all in the same plot, so it looks like a developer bought up this whole block of land here and is going to use it for probably a hundred houses. There's another abandoned house way over there too. On this road, I don't know, six? Probably about six. Uh, I wanted to fly the drone for you guys here, but unfortunately, this is a no-fly zone. So what that means is that the drone is not allowed to go past zero meters, so it can't fly. Quite annoying, I thought this would be awesome for you guys to see, but as is life, can't control it. So, do a little B-roll, show you what we can see, then we're going to get into exploring these. This is probably going to be a two-parter. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you're excited for these. So, let's go. So it looks like we got a very modern house, a little bungalow, and then over there behind the tree, that one there looks like a very, very retro house. Okay guys, before this video begins, I wanted to give a huge shout out to my recent Kofi supporters, so thank you so much Nathaniel H, Paula, Santa Andrew Bailey, Lisa D, Roxanne T, Lori Heinemann, and Above and Beyond Ancestor Readings. Thank you guys so much for the coffee, and without further ado, let's get into this video. What's up guys, it's Noah here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're exploring this very cool looking house. I don't know what style of house it is, it kind of looks like, you know, I don't know. I don't know what kind of house it is, but it's got very, very high ceilings. It's quite cool and it sounds like there's water running in here, so that's a little bit sketchy. So without further ado, let's go check this place out. All right guys, so we're starting at the front door here and just look at how high these ceilings go. Quite nice doors just left behind in here. There's like black cobwebs almost. Just it's kind of weird. So this is one of the two abandoned houses, or one of the three abandoned houses that are on this strip that we're actually able to get inside. One of them is possible, or one of them is also possible, we believe, but the middle one is not. Okay guys, so this is the garage. There's quite a bit of stuff, a bit of stuff still in here. So over here, I would guess it was probably like the dining room. It's kind of hard to tell without anything left behind. But this could have been the dining room too.
This 100% guys was the kitchen. It's a very unique layout for a house. An old ironing board is still sitting here. Nice like oak staircase or pine, whatever it is. Stepping down here, you can see that this would have been their living room. It looks like they used to have real hardwood floor in here and they pulled it all up to repurpose it. So that's always good to see. Nice fireplace. And at all the windows, they have this nice trim. Quite interesting. And the ceiling, all the ceilings have design in them. Not sure what this room would have been. A little washroom. There's so many cassette tapes in here. I wonder if there's anything interesting on any of these. Soaps even left behind. This little area would have been your laundry room. Nothing crazy in there. We're gonna somewhat attempt to go down in the basement, guys, but there's a lot of mold and it's kind of flooding at the moment. So, yeah, let's go upstairs first. Oh, <laughs> upstairs. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Give you guys another look at that front entrance. Is that not epic? Damn. Wallpaper's kind of weird here. So I'm not expecting upstairs to be anything crazy special. It looks very uh, gutted out. The ceilings are so, it, this whole house is just weird. So I'm gonna guess this was the master bedroom's ensuite. This tiny little room would have been the master bedroom. Got another abandoned bedroom for you guys. Decent sized property. Looks like a lot of this house was repurposed. That's basically upstairs, guys. It's not much to it. I'm gonna see if I can get Alan to take the camera down in the basement. I put my respirator on, guys, so let's see what we can. Uh find down here. How deep is it? Yeah, it's not that here, it's there that's deep. Wow, look at that guys. I don't even think I can go through this with my shoes. Is there any chance you'd be willing to take the camera and just walk around so I can get some video? Just keep it as still as possible. Alright guys, Alan's going to be the real MVP and take you through the basement. 
He's probably not going to talk much, but I hope you guys enjoy. And, uh, yeah. 30 seconds. Just do anything that's cool. It's spraying, so I don't want to get closer with the camera. It's going to flutter for you. Huh? It's flutter for you, it's fine. You want me to go in there? If you can, then you can. Give it a good feeling. Oh, the stereo. I can't even go over there. Guys, the stereo looks so cool and I can't see it. Mm. Handing it over. Wow. A big shout out to Big Al for taking that for me. Uh, you guys wouldn't be able to see it without him. So definitely check his Instagram down below if you want to follow him. But yeah, you can see how deep the water is where he's walking. Um, yeah. I'll show you what I can, what I can see. There's some VHS sitting around here. I could probably sneak into this room. Down here. This is a downstairs bathroom. So they might have rented it out as an apartment. But... Yeah, it's, it has full water running through this house still, for some reason. It's probably broken at the shutoff valve, so likely there's nothing we can do about this. And this basement's just going to get worse and worse. But yeah, there's more to the basement. You just, the water's up to the second step. So guys, I showed you what I can, I got my buddy to show you what he can, but it's probably not going to be any photos for me down here, but that's very, very cool. Um, this place makes me nuts. And that's just one of the three abandoned houses on this area, and we probably can get into the second one, so that'll probably be another video, guys. As you guys can see, the basement's probably one of the better parts of this house other than that front entrance. It's nuts that it's so, so bad down there that the water's running like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Um, really appreciate it. We've got new videos coming out all the time. And if you want to help support the channel, you can do so by donating me a coffee down below. And I want to reiterate that it is by no means necessary to do that. It's just if you want to help support the channel a bit more than watching the videos. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. So, guys, we just got done exploring this house. And as you can see, there's one two and then there's a third one there this one's locked up this one's not so come and join us for part two when we explore this house